Matthew 1, 23 says that he will be called Emmanuel, God with us. Merry Christmas, amen from the second Adam and from myself, Candace, and all of our girls now getting all of them together in front of this camera. Almost impossible. So for me, Candace, Lily, Layla, Ala, Stella, and everybody here, we just say thank you, bless you, we honor you. And we want to say Merry Christmas. So I pray you're watching this. I pray that you'll watch this. And I pray you'll get off of Facebook, get off of YouTube, get off of wherever you're watching this. Go back to your family. Spend some time with family. Amen. But today, I just want to say that you are important to us. And I really want to take just a moment and talk about Matthew 1, 23. It says that you will give birth to a child and his name will be Emmanuel, God with us. Now, I want you to grab a hold of two, two thoughts on this. Number one, many times I've thought of that as, well, I'm here and God's here. Jesus is walking with us. Jesus is with us. But what did Jesus say? Jesus said, I must go, but I will send another. Amen. He said, but it's good that I go. I will, but see, we celebrate the birth of Jesus Christ. We should also celebrate, amen, the baptism of the Holy Ghost when he said, I will send another, amen, because it is through Christ that we have eternal life. He is King of Kings. There is no other name like Christ, like Jesus, amen, Yeshua. At the same time, he said, I'll go and send another. Now we don't just have Jesus walking along on earth with us. We have Christ within us. We are a new creation. I want you to grab a hold of this. Your DNA, I literally, I'm telling you, you're literally a new creation in Christ because of the surrender. Lord, I want to be your child. Lord, I surrender. Lord, I repent of my sins and repent of, of following the world and I have to come back to you. Maybe you're watching this and you're like, Wayne, I've never fully surrendered my life to Christ. What better day than, than here on Christmas to say, Lord, be my Savior. Maybe you're watching this and say, well, wait, I was, I was born again a long time ago. But it's been a rocky path. I've walked away. You know what? There's no better day to rededicate than right now. Amen. Pray with me. Father God, please receive me as one of your children. Forgive me of my sins. Lord, I repent of, of following anything other than you. Lord, I know that you were born of a virgin, that you died upon that cross, that you rose and you are coming back. I receive you as my Lord and Savior. Can you say that? I receive you, Lord, as my Lord and Savior. Come into my heart. Make me a new creation. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen and amen. Guys, if you just pray that, I believe you're born again and you're going to see the glory of God. You just walk from a mortal life into a life of immortality. You just walk from a life of a mortal life into a life, hallelujah, of glory to glory. Amen and amen. I want you to do something. Go to John 3, 16. I don't care if you're a brand new Christian, you've been a Christian for 50 years. Go to John 3, 16. I want you to read it. I want you to read it out loud. I want you to proclaim, yes, Lord, hallelujah. Then I want you to jump over to 2 Corinthians 3, 18. So John 3.16 and 2 Corinthians 3.18. 3.18 says from glory to glory. It's a process. You're being formed into the image of Christ by the Holy Spirit. Amen and amen. Merry Christmas from everyone here. If you need something, let us know. Post in comments below. If you just received Christ for the first time or you just rededicated your life to Jesus, post in comments below. Amen. Let us stand with you. Let us celebrate with you. Let us pray with you. This is Pastor Wayne. God bless.